Breathing for generalized anxiety. Generalized anxiety is one of the most prevalent health concerns in our country right now. It affects over 3 million people a year. Now, by the nature of the name, it's generalized because those who are suffering from it often can't trace the source of their anxiousness back to any specific issue or action that they can take in order to change how they feel. Now, if I have a work event at the end of the month, a sporting event, a big life event, it makes sense that I'd feel anxious enough to remind me to prepare for it because it's coming down the line. But if, on the other hand, I feel like I'm constantly in a state of preparation you know, for something that doesn't happen, my nervous system is definitely going to express that constant state of stress in things like pupil dilation changes, skin temperature increases, changes in respiratory rate, uh, changes of heart rate. And before long, I'm going to be feeling stressed or anxious and not really know why. When this happens, um, breath control can be one of the most potent and powerful tools that you have. For one, it gives you a chance to take hold of your own physiology before your physiology takes a hold of you. And it gives you a chance to take a few steps away and assess whether there's actually a major danger that you're dealing with um, or whether you're dealing with a bunch of low-level stressors that are putting you in a position to perceive everything as a major danger. You know, throughout the course of a day, we have a lot of data coming at us, emails, text messages, um, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe you're doing the grind where you're in traffic jams, you're in busy meetings, you're dealing with uh, bright lights and stimulus of all different kinds, and you're dealing with the, you know, the pressures of various social and professional situations that before you know it, um, it catches up with you, and maybe your body notices it before you do. And again, those signs that we talked about, stress physiology signs, begin to change and a low-level anxiousness begins to sort of engulf you. One practice that you can utilize to uh, downshift and mitigate those signs of anxiety is to do something like a simple cadence breathing pattern. This is cool because you can do it anywhere. You can be online at the grocery store, you can be in a, in a traffic jam heading into the office. Um, it's something that comes with you, easy to transport and easy to access all the time. So if I'm breathing to an, a five second in and a five second out cadence for even two minutes, that can be enough to influ influence anxiety states physiologically give me a little more agency over how I feel and how I perform. Now maybe you have an event coming up, you have time to do a little more focused breath work beforehand. What I like to do is add a top hold to that breathing pattern. And I'll go five in, five hold, five out. Again, in two or three minutes, I can make a major shift physiologically that determines how I feel and how I perform.